If the bee disappeared from the face of the earth, mankind would have only four years left to live, said the greatest scientist ever born on earth, Albert Einstein. Beekeeping and honey have had a long connection with man across the world, but in India, the relationship has been quite intimate. Today, what we see in the urban scenario of our cities is slightly different. Honey is extracted towards the end of the flowering season. Honeybees store the honey in the beehives, from where it is extracted by the so-called experts. To protect himself from stings, the honey collector covers his face and limbs. He climbs up the tree where the beehive is with a smoking flame in his hands. He uses it to scare off the bees from their home and from himself as well. As the bees slowly abandon their home, the expert climbs up directly above the beehive and positions himself so he can start extracting the honey. The startled bees buzz all around the man as he throws down the section of the hive which has very little honey. The container he holds in one hand is used to collect the honey as he starts cutting the beehive loose. Risky as it seems, the man on a branch at such a height has every chance of being stung by a bee and also of falling to the ground. The precariously perched honey collector delicately works on the honey laden combs and collects the honey in his own container. His apprentice on the ground gathers the bits of the hive that have fallen down and squeezes and filters the honey out of it into a container. wax and the squeezed out hive remain as the residue of the exercise with the honey being the main prize. The bees fly around the leftovers of the now devastated hive for a while 
until the extractors finally take it away, probably to be turned into beeswax. Honey extraction through the traditional methods like these result in the death of a large number of bees and larvae and the destruction of their hives. Human beings continue to enforce their supremacy on smaller beings like honeybees.